ذاتك يا ذا العلا والجلال ومن قد قبي بسني الخصال محمد الهاشمي الذي به لا يخيب لديك السؤال Why do we have karamat? We have karamat to strengthen our iman, to establish our yaqeen, to have it firm, because we didn't see the miracles of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. This is an answer why the Sahaba did not have much karamat. Although they had some karamat, there is a section in Hayatul Sahaba of Shaykh Yusuf al-Kandahlawi on the miracles of the Sahaba radiyallahu ta'ala anhum. You can refer to, but karamat during the time of the Sahaba weren't as many or as frequent as they were in the times later on. The same with the time of Tabi'een. Why? Because they saw the mu'jizat of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. So they didn't need karamat happening at their hands. The same with the Tabi'een. The Tabi'een were told by the Sahaba, I saw water springing from the hand of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When someone tells you that he witnessed, your iman is so strong. But now after a thousand years, or after 200 years, 300 years, after 400 years now and more. Now, we read the mu'ajizat of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It doesn't make us as uh, firm in our yaqeen as it made the sahaba radiallahu ta'ala on home. Why? Because of our weak understanding of isnad. We don't understand the trustworthiness of the isnad. It is the same if someone tells you or 10 people one tells of the other, if they are all trustworthy, it is the same. But unfortunately, it doesn't leave the same effect on us. This is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala replaced the absence of the mu'jizat of the anbiya by the karamat of the awliya. This is one beautiful benefit of having so many karamat and one response to the accusation that, well, we don't need karamat because Sahaba didn't have karamat. No, actually, we need karamat more than the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum because the mu'jizat of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam sufficed for them.